Thursday, we are near Berechid in Morocco, and I had a very pleasant surprise last evening. I arrived around midnight, I have no idea of, of exact time. I arrived from that direction. <coughs> drove onto the parking and the dogs were barking and I engaged our siren and I did a small circle and then a guy came and took me here the guy was a security guy took me here and boys came and one of them asked me do you smoke weed? I said yes of course okay and then I asked can I sleep here and the guy who was speaking fluently English uh, asked the security guy can I sleep here and security guy said okay no problem so I drove up um, <coughs> parked here somewhere and then we had a social exchange with a seven guys including the one that was speaking fluent English and guess what we learned some Arabic and guys there were seven guys I think so and they told me that Arabic spoken in uh, Morocco is the Rija uh, dialect so we were sitting behind the round table like a knight at a small round table but it, it is a round table and we were the guys were overwhelming me overwhelmingly uh, teaching me uh, how to speak Arabic Derija so <laughs> the most important thing that we learned is Makandevish Larabi. It means I do not speak Arabic. Makandevish Larabi. Okay. And from the first day, I know how to say thank you. It is Shokram. So I want to to know how, how do you say uh, please goodbye I, I know from before how to say uh, hello like uh, salam alaikum and you, when you go away <laughs> you said goodbye like baslama or you can say la yaun or you can say charla so all those three means goodbye Charla or La Iaun, which means Allah be with you, God be with you, or Baslama. Okay, this is goodbye. Next thing is Shnosmichk, and it means what's your name? Shnosmichk, and you reply Smichi Aum. My name is Aum, Smichi Aum. Then 
if you want to say please, you say afak, afak, please. And of course, we need to know how to say yes or no. No, blesh, blesh, no. Actually, no need, it's okay, blesh. And for yes, you say ah, ah, or nam, ah, or nam, yes. And of course, <laughs> the guys were throwing the, the words at me like crazy. Uh, we also learned how to say brother, huya, for male, or chi for female, and chi for female is the same as in Slovenian language, and it means uh, daughter, chi. In the derija, it means sister. Like, how are you, my brother? Huya, brother, chi, sister. And they also throw at me. Ateini, give me. Ateini, give me. And the next word is milk which needs to be used carefully because it means what's wrong. Hamzi is one of the guys who spoke English very good. Told me if you say milk it means what's wrong. A brother like what's wrong peacefully but if you say milk it means you are looking for trouble. What do you want? You know, like, what do you want? Milk! Yes, and you have, we have to be careful using this word. So, I would kindly thank all seven guys, and especially Jonas, which uh, helped me learn, and Hamzi, and also the, the third guy, which I forgot his name, please forgive me. But learning half of the Arabic uh, vocabulary and seven names is quite a task for me. So thanks guys. We love you. You are great. Regarding the last four days, which we spent in a private apartment, me taking a proper rest, there was not much going on. I was making videos and uploading over the private Wi-Fi, which they gave me access to. And on the first day, I vomited in the morning. And please don't tell anybody, but I also shit on the on, in the bed and I woke up in a sheet my own sheet smudged over the bed sheet oh. <laughs> what a play of words and right now we are heading to Marrakesh it is 200 kilometers away I hope to reach it in a few days, two, maybe three days. Current situation, the electronics cycle analyzed is not working properly, meaning the motors are not working. So only the main motor, that's me, is working and occasionally the motors work for example yesterday they worked for 10 5 minutes after we passed the big city and also my phone is turning on the display for no reason and it drains the battery and I think the problem is I plugged the charging cable into the telephone 
uh, the other day and the the plug the little plug the small USB-C heated immensely and of course I immediately uh, unplugged it but I believe the damage was done the plug melted a little and also the socket on the telephone melted a little and since then we have problems with the telephone and there is one more thing that doesn't work but I forgot it